What's up guys, so this is my third year now coming to CTIA in Las Vegas and a big thanks to AT&T for sponsoring this video and giving me a first hand look at the exciting and innovative things that are coming from AT&T, so thumbs up to that. Now as I walked around the showroom floor we saw a lot of connected cars, connected homes and it just seems like we're getting closer and closer to really seeing a fully connected city as more devices become available like take for example this Leico Superbike which actually is running Android. Now similar to a car it has head and tail lights, a horn, and even turn signals. The Echo Bike is really a great example of how we're unifying different technologies and we're combining them into one user experience. AT&T also announced some updates to their DirecTV app, so you can access live programming that you subscribe to on DirecTV anywhere you have internet access, whether it be through your mobile network or even Wi-Fi. Now here's the cool part, if you're an AT&T customer, the new Data Free TV feature allows you to stream DirecTV and AT&T U-verse content and it's not going to count against your AT&T wireless data allowance, so how cool is that? Though I think my biggest highlight was meeting and talking with Glenn Laurie, who is the CEO of AT&T Mobility, and we were discussing on how AT&T is going to help lead the way on how we live, work, and play. Well, I think, I think AT&T is leading the way at how we're transforming every aspect of life, and as you put it, how you live, work, and play, because we're an integrated carrier. Right? We're, our focus is not just about mobility. It's a huge part of what we do, but now that we're the largest linear TV player in the world with our direct TV acquisition, you think about our broadband assets, our IoT assets, home, car, all of a sudden you're now thinking about, we're looking at encompassing your whole life. Right. right? This is all about M to M, right? So it's about uh, you waking up and that smartphone is very smart and getting smarter. And the second you touch a smartphone at you know 5.30 in the morning waking up, the whole ecosystem knows you're up. Right. So now what have you told your home to do? What have you told your car to do? You know, the connected city that's connected to all of those things. Those things need to start to work together to deliver an experience for you. And you know, I, I use examples of inanimate objects taking care of you versus you taking care of them. These are, this is a, a concept that we have to start to get used to, right? Today when I walk into my home, my home knows that I'm walking in. And Digital Life has a capability to me to turn that alarm off, have my thermostats go up, have the lights go on, whatever you want to do, right? Same thing goes when you think about your car. I mean, the concept of walking into your car, if that smartphone's in your hand and you've told the car, I'm coming, because right. obviously you have a location, now why wouldn't that car start? Why wouldn't your CP set where you like? I mean, so we've got to make people's lives better, and that's about these objects working with each other. Glenn also told me about the evolution of 5G and how they're currently conducting trials of fixed wireless connectivity using 5G technologies in Austin, Texas. Customers will be able to measure speeds in gigabits per second, not megabits. Now, for reference, at one gigabit per second, you can download a TV show in less than three seconds. Whoa. There was also other things like the Samsung VR section that showcases how AT&T plans to use drones going forward, which goes alongside the IoT Smart City implementation. I'll be leaving links to more information down below, so make sure and check that out. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and follow me on social media for up-to-date content. Thanks again for watching, and you will catch me in the next one. Adios.